Today, some tips and tricks when using the appearance panel in Illustrator, some of which are pretty advanced. What is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. Remember, if you want to expand your skills as a designer, subscribe to Satori Graphics for weekly graphic design content. In today's tips and tricks tutorial for the appearance panel in Illustrator, I'm going to first show you the most basic function just in case some people have never used it before. And then I'm going to kick into high gear into some intermediate and advanced uses of the appearance panel. You can locate the appearance panel here in the drop down menu and right off the bat you're going to notice that you can add a stroke and a fill. With your shape or your design selected you can double click either the stroke or the fill and insert a colour of your choice. You will soon realise just how many settings, tools and functions all live right here in the appearance panel. The first cool thing you can do is to increase your stroke weight and then drag and drop it below the fill layer. This will stop the stroke creeping over the fill on your design, which has a nice and neat effect. If you click the top right fly down menu, you can add a second stroke to the image of your design. Once again, drag and drop it below the fill layer and then increase the stroke weight. Now the awesome thing is that you can add as many strokes as you want, which you can't normally do. Holding down shift and clicking both of your strokes and then clicking the duplicate button is going to make duplicates of those strokes. The two copies are going to be automatically created to your design. You can then edit their size and their colour if you want to. Utilising the duplicate button speeds up your workflow within the appearance panel by quite a lot. Now moving on in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you some neat effects with the appearance panel. Firstly, we can restore the panel back to default by cleaning the settings like so. For the next tip and trick, I'm going to select the star tool and then click the canvas to generate a star. I want to add a gradient because yes, gradients do work with the appearance panel. Just remember that you have to have your shape or your design selected when adding effect or a function in the appearance panel. With the fill highlighted in the appearance panel, you can come down to the effects button here which will open you up to a myriad of different options. Firstly, we are going to add round corners to our design. Whilst having the preview option checked, you can see changes in real time. You will soon see how you can build up a very complex design with just one vector shape essentially. We can go ahead and add a new fill, which by default should be the same colour or the same gradient as the previous one. If we open the gradient window, we can adjust the gradient of this new fill, that is if it's still highlighted in the Illustrator appearance panel. On the new fill, we can go into the appearance panel effects and add a pucker and bloat effect, which as you will see can be very interesting indeed. Remember, this is all built upon one vector shape, which isn't two vector paths, it's just one. We can even go ahead and add a drop shadow within the appearance panel. There are so many effects and choices for you here, and they are simple to access. It might take some time getting used to, but once you find your way around the appearance panel in this nature, your workflow is going to improve in both time and efficiency. Let's add an inner glow to the purple red fill, which is going to improve your design and make it more interesting. Lastly, for this section of the tutorial today, 
we can add a texture to the entire design. Again, just head into the effects button options here and then apply the texturizer effect that will further to make your design more intricate. I'm going to show you yet more functions and tips for the appearance panel, so stay tuned guys. In the appearance panel, you can make a complex layer design with only one vector shape or path at the foundation, and here's how. Firstly, we can duplicate the fill layer in the fly down menu, and then head into the path and offset path option. Here you can change your settings to fit your design and it might take some trial and error to get right for the first time. But after is the more important step which is to click the opacity option under the fill in the appearance panel. Once you've gone into the opacity option you can change the blend mode to something like overlay or soft light. Once you've done that, you can proceed to click the top fill layer and then duplicate it again. Using the duplicate option, we'll actually copy the blend mode that you previously chose and it's going to be copied over, but you will need to use the offset path again with the same amount. Before I drop a really cool tip to end the tutorial, we will lastly go into each of the fill layers in the appearance panel and add a drop shadow, which is going to enhance the effect on your design. Once you make the first drop shadow with your settings, the next drop shadow will automatically use those settings, which is a really handy function no doubt. I suggest that you simply experiment and have fun with the appearance panel, and in time you're going to become familiar with its functions. It does have a whole lot to offer you as a designer. So lastly in today's Illustrator appearance panel tutorial, I'm going to show you a very handy tip. On my shape here, I'm going to go into the appearance panel and add a drop shadow like we've done before. Now that the drop shadow has been added, I'm going to also transform the shape over to the left a little bit. I can do this by using the distort and transform option. Now like I've said, the appearance panel can do a whole lot from just one vector path or shape. If you end up with a complex design with a lot of different settings, you might want to use all of those same settings on a different design. What you can do is press Command or Control F5 on your keyboard, which will bring up this little window here. You can save this collection of shapes and graphic style settings as a graphic style preset. So go ahead and give it a relevant name. Once you've saved that specific style, you can generate a new shape and then just click the graphic style. It will then turn that shape into that style with all of your settings the same. This is a very handy tip and I do hope that you found all of the following tips and tricks useful. Remember if you want to expand your skills and your awareness as a designer, Subscribe to Satori Graphics for weekly graphic design content. I'm going to be back three more days this week with more graphic design tutorials for you guys. So remember to share my content on social media if you want to help out my channel and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of today's video. Have a great day and until next time, design your future today. Peace.